Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it is time for the April Farm Update. We do this on every first Tuesday of the month and talk through all the machines mining. This is the first update out of lockdown but as I already dedicated two videos to pandemic and quarantine we won't today. We will start in the mining room downstairs as the situation from last month is still the same. My office is now more mining room than my actual mining room. Downstairs there is only the octo miner running. Right now I actually use it as a mixed rig for AMD and Nvidia cards where before it was Nvidia only. It is no problem to mine different things with different cards in one system, also in a distribution like HiveOS. The ASICs I still own and I'm keeping for them to move into hosting or that I can find say a solar solution for them are still here too. The L3 Plus off right now and the Baikal Giant Plus also off. The Z9 Mini was sold already and we had a good buy video on it which I'll link for you in the top right corner. I love the small machine but it did not make sense for me to hold on to it right now. Better keep the budget either for GPUs or for something else that comes around. That's <laughs> every machine downstairs already. Only the Octo running and the holding space for my off machines. Everything else mining moved upstairs to my office which I always do in winter or colder times for heat. Upstairs it's a bit stuffed at the moment, besides unfinished projects piling up there is the AMD rig, my PCs which are for both work and mining and the black miner FPGA chilling out with some CPU cooters. <laughs> Regarding the AMD rig I might have to make some decisions soon as the only RX 580s which are left in my house are 4GB cards. It is either sell or consolidate. I'm not sure yet. I have no AMD 7 nanometer card in the house yet, so maybe it might be time for another consolidating session with these as well. Same as I did with my small Nvidia cards. We'll see. What are you guys doing on that? Are you selling your 4 GB cards or did you make plans for them for the future? The new 1660 Super is still upstairs as well in my random X open rig as I wanted to have it in a dedicated space for testing and doing some video content. There will be some specific stuff coming up on the card, tell me if there is anything you'd like to see. Besides that I'm holding off on improving my own workstation system which of course definitely also will turn into a mining hybrid too. The CPU I'm looking at, the Ryzen 3900X never was as discounted as now where I live. But still I wanted to hold out for now on making any huge investments and rather watch the state of the markets and well the state of the world a bit first. Regarding what I'm mining, it is Ethereum Classic on AMD, Ion on Nvidia, Monero on every CPU I got and for the moment back to Luxcoin for the little FPGA. Besides the black miner, nothing too experimental at the moment, just what I know and it's a safe play for me right now. Yeah, also this month the same thing as last time. Never in my mining career have I been mining with this little machines at the same time. But I'm holding out for some new builds and projects. So I found it important to consolidate. While some people go crazy in crisis times and hoard stuff, I do the opposite and take a close look at what I have and what I really need. I'm not only talking about mining, but generally tech. I did the same with my camera equipment for example. I asked myself, okay, what did I not use the last year? Or also, if I sold those things I don't really need, could I invest that money into something that actually would make my life easier? I wanted to share that philosophy too, as I'm still in the midst of doing it right now. Oh yeah, not machine related, but I still want to mention it. I'm buying Bitcoin in small amounts every time it's possible to me still. Besides taking care of the machines I have and planning content for you folks, accumulating Bitcoin is the best thing personally for me to do to keep my mind at ease in crazy times like these. Last but not least, I want to say thank you as we just surpassed 4000 subscribers. 
I want to tell you that at 5000 I'm planning to do another giveaway. I already have some prizes lined up but I'm also still on the lookout for some interesting things or sponsors I could make happen for you folks. That's already it. Not many changes in the last month but still loads of content coming up. I've spoiled some here and there but now it's time to finally get to it. I hope all of you are safe and well. Please like and subscribe for weekly crypto and mining content. All the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye.